I am uh, the Deputy Chief of Staff in Mayor Biskupski's office, uh, focused on policy. Representative, how are you? So I'm a part of the legislative team, and part of my role is kind of the facilitation and coordination uh, across the team. Part of our legislative team is the entire city, the departments and the divisions. When there's legislative proposals that are drafted and they come out, we're seeking input from the police department, the fire department, human resources, community and neighborhood, whoever that, legislate, that legislative proposal would impact, positively or negatively. So we need to make sure that we're, we're reviewing that legislation and we're getting the right departments and divisions. And so it's pretty hectic. You know, the first week, uh, we've heard that there's, you know, 1,200 proposals being drafted. And so the very first week is when all of them are first becoming public. So it's a very, um, uh, uh, yeah, you, you, you just jump right in. There's, there's, you know, it's not a slow first day. Uh, and work very early in the morning uh, already just to kind of keep up on emails. Um, I have, starting the first week of the legislative session, had to wake up an hour and a half almost an hour and a half earlier than normal just to keep up on the emails and as, as new bills come out and wanting to make sure that we're getting the information we need. So it's actually day five, the, the last day of the first week, and our priorities continue to be the same as they, they were leading up to the legislative session. One, we're always, uh, right now, we're in an ongoing dialogue with the state around, uh, the, you know, with the state about the statewide issue of homelessness and affordable housing and how we um, tackle uh, and help individuals experiencing homelessness by providing the right level of services um, and providing the right level of housing. And this is across the state. That's an ongoing dialogue. And there's a couple bills up here this session that we're uh, tracking and that we're a part of that will help move that dialogue forward and help the communities across the state move forward in, in finding solutions for individuals uh, experiencing homelessness. Um, there's a lot of conversation uh, already up the legislature um, about water, uh, and water is um, probably one of the most important issues that the legislature uh, addresses, and probably one of the most passionate. Uh, water is something that a lot of people care, and we should all really care a lot about. Um, and there are a couple of bills up this session that, frankly, we're concerned about uh, that would impact the city's ability to continue to provide safe drinking water, um, to manage uh, our waterways in, in an effective way uh, that meets the needs of, of our community and other communities that we, we serve with our water. Uh, so that's a very important issue. Uh, transportation is gonna be a big issue this session uh, as we look at, uh, and the mayor sat on a transportation task force uh, during the interim and was integral in those conversations about how do we provide better transit um, within the city, within the county, across the state. And that's, you know, leads into another very important issue all the time is air quality. So we're always looking for opportunities to support initiatives or to push initi initiatives uh, that benefit the air. Uh, and there are a couple of those this year that we're, we're paying very close attention to. We really uh, encourage participation from all residents across the city. Uh, whether you're a voting age or not, whether you vote or you don't vote, uh, it's so important that we're getting input from residents in Salt Lake City on how uh, legislative proposals may impact them or impact their neighborhood, impact their community. Um, we um, post publicly all the bills that we are tracking, uh, both for legislators um, and for residents of Salt Lake City and other interested stakeholders so they can understand where we're at on legislation. And, if, and we would invite and welcome uh, input and feedback on specific legislative proposals.